everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have a gorgeous card to show you today. It's pretty fancy, but I think it's pretty easy to achieve. Um, I am using the beautiful Beauty Abounds bundle. Here's the stamp set and these gorgeous um, butterfly framelits. They layer to make a kind of multi-dimensional uh, butterfly. Now, when I wanted inspiration for my butterfly, I went to Google and Pinterest and searched butterflies. And there are some amazing, gorgeous butterflies um, online. And I picked one that had yellow and orange in the middle and went out to a very dark purple edge. So that's how I came up with my colors. And I encourage you to do the same to find different options for your butterflies. Now, one thing I do want to point out when I made this card, I used gold shimmer paint. And then when I got everything together to recreate this card with you, I realized the gold shimmer paint is retired. But we have uh, champagne mist glimmer papers, uh, glimmer shimmer paint. So that's what we're gonna use today instead. All right, this card has lots of steps, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is do that splatter background because it's gonna take quite a bit of time to dry. This is a four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Champagne Mist Shimmer Paint and put it on a block. And then I'm gonna get my um, Aqua Painter. I have one Aqua Painter that is designated for Shimmer Paint, um, so I don't have to worry about it getting messy. Um, and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water in here like that and then I'm gonna pick it up and I'm just going to flick. All right, see how I'm using the edge of my lid to just flick that paint all over the place. You could also do this with um, just an ink refill color. Okay, so there we've got our, our shimmery, uh, glitzy background. So I'm gonna move that out of the way and I am going to also, let's see, let's put this in a safe spot. I'm gonna take my paper towel and just wipe this down so we don't get that all over everything. Okay, now we're going to do our butterfly. That's gonna take some time to dry as well. And I've cut one ahead of time, but I'm gonna show you how to cut the other one. Um, you're gonna need, I'm using watercolor paper and watercolor paper is much thicker than our cardstock. So it's going to take a little more elbow grease to get these to cut. Um, you can see one is solid, that's this one, and one is skinnier, I guess not solid, but fatter has more to it, and this one's quite delicate. So the delicate one goes on top of that one that's more solid. So I've already cut out the delicate one, but we're gonna go ahead and cut out this solid one. And you don't have to use a whole piece of cardstock or paper. Um, a three by four piece of uh, paper will fit just fine around that large butterfly. All right, so let's put this on our big shot and make sure your wings are not hung, hanging over the top or the bottom. And I'm gonna put it in, and I'm gonna run it through a few times. Now, if you find that your butterfly just won't cut out, you need to add a shim to your big shot. Everybody's big shots are different. So you can put a, a piece of cardstock right here on the top of your plates when you run it through, and it'll make it thicker or tighter and make that thicker paper cut better. So I always like to turn it over. Yep, it looks good. If it didn't, if I could tell that it hadn't cut, I would put it back in like this and run it through. But I have not had any problems at all getting these butterflies to cut out. Um, that watercolor paper is just a little bit thicker and might take just a little bit more um, effort. All right, so using my dye brush, I'm gonna cut that out. Oh look, we've got a little butterfly hanging on. We could save him for something else. Now get your paper snips and we're gonna trim him off like this. All of these guys that are hanging on, we don't need them. We're just trimming all of that extra off, following the line already there in the, in the die. All right, so let's bring them back. And I'm going to do yellow go in the middle, going out to orange. And on this one, I'm just gonna do the yellow and orange. But on this one, I'm gonna add the purple around the edge. Um, the colors I'm using are Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna just use the inside of my ink. Um, and I'm gonna turn it upside down, squeeze it like that, and it puts ink right there in the lid. And then I've got 
pumpkin pie. I've also got Mango Melody, which is kind of an in-between these two. Let's put it in the middle. And then last but not least, this gorgeous, gorgeous Blackberry Bliss. Okay, I've got them all lined up, ready to go. You're also gonna need a paper towel to clean your aqua painter. And the aqua painter I am using is uh, the finer tip aqua painter. When you get your aqua painters, they come in a two pack. One is skinny and one's a little bit fatter. Um, really for this, it doesn't matter uh, which one you use. Um, sometimes it does when you're actually coloring in an object, um, but for this one, it doesn't matter. If you haven't used an aqua painter before, what you do is you unscrew the cap and you fill it with water and you put it back on and there you have it. It's like a paintbrush that has water inside of it. And so you don't need to, you know, use a, a cup of water to wash your brush. You can just squeeze it out on your paper towel. Now I like to just give my butterfly a little bath first, give him some water there, kind of prepare your paper. And then I'm just gonna start picking up the color and just kind of dabbing it all over. You don't need to worry too much about being, you know, specific with your colors. Just kind of dabbing it on. Now I'm gonna start grabbing some mango and doing mango along these edges. I am not really squeezing my brush at all. I'm using the water that's already there in the tip of my brush. All right, now let's get that much darker pumpkin pie right there along that edge. All right. I think I'm gonna get a little bit more here. Now what I will do is give it some time to dry and we'll come back and put another coat on it in a little while. Okay, let's get a little more yellow right there. The more layers you put on, the more intense your color is going to be, but you have to let it dry in between those layers. All right, let's bring this one over. Now we're gonna do the same thing. I need a little more Daffodil Delight in my lid. We're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna end with that Blackberry Bliss. Just kind of dropping that yellow all over. Ooh, and I forgot to get my butterfly wet ahead of time, but he seems to be doing okay. There we go, now some pumpkin pie, or no, this is Mango Melody. And up here I want to go straight really into that orange because the edges are going to be that beautiful, beautiful Blackberry Bliss. I could color butterflies all day long. I love doing this. It's really relaxing and fun. Okay, now I'm going to really clean that out and I want to make sure these are nice and wet with this darker color. All right, let's see what happens when we add in our Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss is very dark. Um, and uh, you can dilute it with your water, which is what that happens naturally as our aqua painter kind of dilutes it with the, the water on the, the brush. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry. Now I'm gonna come back and add some more layers of color. All right, it's had some time to dry, but I am not satisfied. I want these colors to be bold and vivid. So I'm gonna add another layer of color in here to each one, especially that purple on the edge. That just is not doing it for me. We've gotta get something much darker in there. Let's see, over here, this orange looks pretty good. We're gonna do that mango melody. And then finish off with that dark, dark pumpkin pie. There we go. Now we're seeing some really dark, dark colors. All right, I'm gonna clean my brush off really well as we switch over to, actually, nope, you know what? We need to add a little bit more of the orange here as well. 
I'm going to just kind of do the inside of the outer rings <laughs> of our butterfly with this pumpkin pie. I don't want it to wash out, so I'm not squeezing any water in there. I want it to be nice and dark. Okay, now we're ready for that purple. Blackberry Bliss, woo, look at that. No water, no water at this, this last layer. We want it to be nice and dark, gorgeous. I've never seen a butterfly in real life that is quite this beautiful with these colors anyway. In my area, we have lots of monarchs. All right, I think that is good. Now we are gonna give it some more time to dry and we can start putting together the rest of our card while those dry. Let's move all of our inks out of the way and get these ugly papers out of the way. And let's see if our shimmer is dry it is good now we need to make that gold frame which we are going to use the stitched rectangle framelits and um, if you have never visited me during Facebook Friday I did this project originally during a Facebook Friday and I type up these PDFs that look like this um, on the projects that I'm doing. Here's this one. It has all the information of the products that I used as well as these measurements, including the measurements of these framelits. So if you want to recreate this card, you can hop over there using the link in the description and grab that PDF. And then you'll have three other ideas on how to use your Beauty Abounds bundle. So I'm creating a frame with two stitched rectangles and they are not the two that are closest together. I skipped one and grabbed the next one down to make a kind of a thicker frame. You've got this beautiful piece you can save for something later. All right, so let's bring this over. We're going to use some dimensionals. I think I'll use many dimensionals on our frame. One in each corner. And then set that down like that. Make sure you're straight. Then I cut a little piece of designer series paper that is three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna cut it down so it's gonna fit right inside that rectangle. It's about three and a half inches. And I'm going to use my paper snips to make a V on the end. You could use your Taylor Tag Punch or your Banner Triple Punch. All right, and I'm just gonna adhere that down in the middle like that. All right, now I'm gonna put some adhesive here, just a little swath of adhesive and I'm gonna take some gold thread and I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers about five or six times, okay? Now it's not gonna stay nice and neat and we don't really want it to stay nice and neat. We're gonna stick it down into that adhesive, kind of moving it around so that it's sprayed all over the place. See how that is? Doesn't that look funky? But it's going to work, I promise. Now for our sentiment, we're gonna use just a simple thanks from the Beauty Abound stamp set, and I'm gonna use Memento Black, and I'm going to stamp it right on the edge here. And I'm not gonna do anything fancy other than just cut it like that. And again, I'm going to just cut a little V on each end to make us a banner. It looks like I might not have cut it as narrow as I wanted, but I think that will still work. Okay, let's see, I think our butterflies are dry enough. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna use the fine tip glue pen to put these together. You can use uh, whatever you prefer, glue dots or um, the multi-purpose adhesive sheet, although I'm not sure how that would cut if you put that on watercolor paper because it is so thick. Um, but the fine tip glue pen works just as well. You gotta make sure you put that little pin back in and 
very carefully. We're going to adhere this guy right there. Layering him up. Isn't he beautiful? Now, normally I would stick this down under a clear block to let it dry, give it some time to dry, but for the sake of the video, we're not gonna do that. And you can see that these antennas under here are really hard to line up. So just cut the antennas off of the butterfly behind. There we go, my goodness, it's beautiful. All right, some more dimensionals right here. I'm gonna put one here in the wing, the end of the wing, one in the middle, and we're gonna lay that down right in the center of our frame. Uh-oh, come on, butterfly, there we go. I haven't given it long enough to dry. And then, Put that sentiment right there in the middle. And I really felt like we needed a few little gold um, pearls. So take your take your pick tool has this little putty end and it will grab those pearls and set them right back down for you. So you don't have to try to grab them with your fingers, which is not easy. Um, I think that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and put it down on our card base and we are done. This is just a Blackberry card base that is five and a half by eight and a half and folded in half. And I'm gonna put that down right there. And we are done. Isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't someone just be so impressed? All right, now hop over to my blog, grab that PDF, and make one of your own. And Google butterflies, you guys, and find out um, what other colors you could use um, to create your butterflies. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.